How to use packet filters. Hi, this is Sam. In this demo, I will explain what packet filters are, and show you how to use filters. COPSA is good at capturing packets of network. All packets transmitting over the network will be captured by default. It's what we want through network monitoring. But it drives you crazy when you have to pick certain types of packets out of the packet piles. That's right. Using filters. Filters enable you to cull out all irrelevant packets, and capture useful packets. Using filter is very easy with COPSA. You can easily create new filters, and combine filters together visually to get the packets you need. OK, let's first see where we can find filters. On the start page, you can click packet filter settings in the settings overview to open the filter dialog. If there is a capture running already, you can click the filter icon on the ribbon. The filter dialog is divided into two sections. All filters are listed in the left. Each filter has an accept checkbox and a reject checkbox. By default, no filter is enabled. All packets will be captured and analyzed. If you just want to capture HTTP packets, check the accept box. You may notice that the right section refreshes when we check. It's the flow chart, which shows how the packets will be processed by your filter setup. We can understand that a packet comes from the adapter, and it's processed to be analyzed if it matches the HTTP filter, otherwise dropped. Of course we can enable multiple filters to set up complicated rules to get more accurate packets. On the bottom, you can use the buttons to manage the filters. You can create a new filter, edit, delete a filter, import and export filters or reset the list. To edit a filter, you can double-click the filter in the list, or double-click it in the flow chart. OK, let's see how to create a filter. Click this button and a new dialog appears. This dialog has two tabs, Simple Filter and Advanced Filter. The Simple Filter lets you create filters based on addresses, ports and protocols. First we give the new filter a name, write a description and choose a color for the filter. The address rule is to set MAC or IP address statement. You can set source address as a single address, an address range or IP address subnet. Then you can decide the traffic direction, to capture single way or bi direction packets, and then target address. The second group lets you set conditions by port numbers, as a single port, port range or multiple ports, and packet direction as well. The protocol rule is to choose protocol as statements. Click select button to choose protocols. You can use any protocol as a filter condition. These three rule groups are very useful and effective to create simple filters. While the advanced filter enables you to create filters on more complicated conditions. You can use more rules like packet size, packet value, pattern rule, and this like. All settings are done. Click OK to close the dialog. Now we can find the new filter in the list. The list is global, once a filter created, you can find them in other projects unless it's deleted. By the way, you'd better use export to back up the filters to disk. And also you can click import to bring them back. This is the end of the demonstration, thanks for watching.